Um, it's exactly 8.15 p.m. on Monday, August 28th. And um, I've been lying here on this bed for about two hours now, just trying to take a rest and uh, nap. And as soon as I went down on this bed at around 6.30 p.m., the psychopath who sits in the bathroom behind that wall right there started uh, smoking something that made it really difficult for me to lie here and not have to breathe it in. And she started at the same time resuming the use of some type of electronic assault device that is some type of remote controlled stun gun or some type of remote controlled tasering device that has absolutely nothing to do with anything that I have or don't have around the space of this bed. Um, I don't have any electronic equipment in this unit. I don't have a TV. I don't have a Wi-Fi router. I don't have any kind of a cable box sound system, Bluetooth speakers, anything like that. And yet, frequently when I lie on this bed, and usually it's in the evening when I'm trying to take a nap, the psychopath who continues to access the premises behind this wall, which is the bathroom of a now empty vacant unit that was recently intermittently occupied by the maintenance manager for the Greenville group, but he doesn't seem to have stayed there in weeks now. Um, the same person who lived in that unit for eight and a half years between 2013 and the end of 2022, apparently, continues to access the bathroom of her former unit that is behind this wall. And what she's been doing all day today throughout the entire day is smoking marijuana somewhere in the bathroom behind this wall. And uh, using this remote stun gunning device that she intermittently uses on me when I do certain things in this unit that she apparently has a problem with and is able to see or hear or otherwise have knowledge of. And so starting at 6.15, 6.30 this evening, as soon as I went down on this bed to take a nap, she seems to have a problem with that. She started re repeatedly uh, remote tasering me while I was lying on this bed trying to rest. It literally causes me to pass out when this happens. It is like being electrocuted. There is really nothing else I can compare it to. It starts with some sudden, very noticeable uh, muscle weakness throughout your entire body. You literally feel like you're being electrocuted, like you're being um, stun gunned. It's like, it's like being tasered. Like <laughs> I had a taser for years, accidentally tasered myself a few times with it. And this is exactly what it feels like. You lose control of your muscles and you literally feel like you're about to pee yourself, but I, I don't pee myself. I'm like to make that clear. I don't do that, but that's what it feels like. And there's absolutely no electronic equipment. There's no electrical cords. There's no exposed wiring or anything like that in the area around this bed that could be causing this type of phenomenon to such a degree that it becomes physically like a, like a physical debilitation issue. Um, so it's accompanied by instant, intense, skull-cracking headache, a burning sensation throughout your, your body. Um, it usually starts like in the head, neck, and throat, and then it goes down throughout the rest of your body. And it's literally like being tasered. So um, this hasn't happened in about five days, and it has started up again. And that is because there is a homicidal psychopath named Jasmine Arizari still living somewhere on this floor. Um, maintenance was living in that unit intermittently for, you know, the last month and a half or so, two months, and now they're no longer in there. I'm not sure what happened. So she has the ability to access the premises behind this wall. And I keep reporting that when I get remote stun gunned while lying on this bed or sometimes standing at my sink as well, she is always sitting somewhere in the area behind this wall, smoking, burning, and propagating some very noticeable, intense, and pungent mixtures of a, a very unique combination of cigar smoke, marijuana smoke, and burning rubber. And she cycles through those three very intense, very noticeable stinks in a rapid fashion. So I don't know if she's smoking one after the other after the other or, or what she's doing in there, but she is doing something that fills the entire area around my kitchen sink and my bathroom with really intense, overpowering and stinking fumes that never come from the hallway. So at 6.15, I came in from the hallway. I was going up and down the hallway and around the floor throughout the day today, taking out things, shaking out bedding, 
um, smacking the dust out of towels and things like that. I was literally in and out of the hallway all day today. And there were no fumes or odors anywhere in the hallway. But when I would come back into this unit and go into my bathroom, the fumes and odors were filling my entire bathroom. And it's always very intense marijuana, followed by some type of rotting cigar smell and then burning rubber. Um, it's not the three together. It's always the three separate. So the psychopath named Jasmine Arizari, who continues to access the area behind this wall and fills the entire area around my kitchen sink with really intense fumes, also uses some type of remote controlled stun gunning device at the same time. She's very busy in there apparently. While she's sitting in that unit, filling this corner with marijuana, burning rubber and cigar fumes. And then she starts using this remote controlled stun gun or something like it. I mean, I obviously can't see what she's using. I just know what the effects are. The effects are always the same. They never change. It's always an electric, like an electrocution type of situation where you literally feel like you're touching some type of electrical live wire. Um, if you've ever stood in a puddle of water and like touched an electrical plug, which I've done as well, this is what it feels like. It literally feels like you're being electrocuted and it's intermittent, but it's frequent. So it's like every 10 or 15 seconds, you literally get zapped. Um, this is not a medical condition. Um, this started happening in 2017. And when it did start happening in 2017, I thought I had a serious medical problem, got completely checked out. I don't have any heart problems. I don't have any breathing issues aside from um, some asthma that I was experiencing due to all the smoke and fumes from the bathroom of 78 when the psychopath actually did live in that bathroom. She was literally in that bathroom 24 seven smoking nonstop and would fill my entire living space with nonstop cigar, marijuana and burning rubber fumes. And now she's doing that again, even though she no longer officially lives in that unit, but she continues to somehow access the area behind this wall. Uh, she's demonstrated a talent for picking locks and management keeps denying the fact that she's able to pick locks. They say, oh, it's not possible for her to be in there because the door is locked. Well, she's picked the door to my unit several times while I've been lying on this bed. And <laughs> she stood in the doorway of the open door that she had just picked while I was lying on this bed, displayed herself proudly and started singing in Spanish while pulling duct tape that I had on the outside of my door and putting it on the inside of my door. That happened three times between 2017 and 2018. So this psychopath named Jasmine Arizari has the demonstrated ability to pick locks directly in front of me while I was in this unit. Um, but I've reported this stun gunning issue, this remote capacity stun gun use by this psychopath who also specializes in electronics, electronic surveillance, hacking and cyber crimes, according to the Greenville group. They're the ones who told me that she can do this, not me. The police are the ones who told me that she is a psychopath with homicidal tendencies. And the Massachusetts Sex Offender Registry has told me that she is a registered sex offender. So this person is sitting directly behind that wall right now. Oh my God, she just zapped me or I just got literally stun gunned right now or tasered or whatever you want to call it, as I was saying that. So, and this area right here around the sink is right now just filled with marijuana fumes. The window is actually open and there's a breeze coming through. So this window is completely open. I can stick my hand all the way out the window. But because the fumes that she's generating are so thick and intense, and she's so psychotic about it that this entire area right now is filled with marijuana fumes. And the marijuana fumes are absolutely not coming from the hallway. Again, I was in and out of the hallway all afternoon. There were constant marijuana fumes filling my bathroom and the area around this kitchen sink throughout the afternoon from the psychopath who accesses the vacant unit behind this wall. And there were no fumes at all in the hallway throughout the entire afternoon that I was in and out of this unit constantly between 9.30 a.m. and 6.15 p.m. So the fumes are coming from behind that wall. And no, they're not coming from downstairs either because I've made videos where there was construction going on in the unit downstairs with construction workers actually working, not smoking, but my entire area around this kitchen sink and my entire bathroom at the time were being filled with marijuana and cigar fumes. And the fumes were not coming from downstairs because again, there was construction work being done in the unit downstairs and the construction workers were not smoking. I went down there and I checked and I have a video of that. So when management says the fumes are coming from below, they're absolutely not. They're coming from the bathroom behind this wall, which is a former unit of a known psychopath, psychotic stalker, registered sex offender, 
and cyber criminal named Jasmine Arizari. And she's been using a remote stun gun device on me for the last two hours while I've been lying on this bed, simply trying to rest. And now she's filling this entire area with really sickening, overpowering and intense rotting cigar fumes, marijuana smoke, and some kind of burning rubber smell that she's been generating from behind that wall for it's been like nine years now.